Hey everyone, welcome to a new segment called Singularity Computers Guides. Now it's not as if I haven't done guides before, you'll find plenty of them on my channel, but this is going to be a series of brief guides ranging from simple to advanced that could be overclocking guides, anything. Every day I'm building systems, I'm doing different projects, and I have a lot of opportunities where I can pick up the camera and start filming something interesting that I'm doing. And so that's what this segment is going to be about, following some of the things that I do on a daily basis. Not all of my videos can be like my build logs, which take at least two weeks to do one video, a huge amount of time and cost and effort. When the channel is bigger and we have more patrons, it will be possible to do more of them, but we're not there yet. All of the content, the videos that I do in between, you can consider extra content. So what I have here is Singularity Computers Client Build 21. I'll put a link on the screen to the build log. I haven't yet uploaded the final part, so this is actually a sneak preview of Client Build 21 finished. So today's guide, the first one, is going to be something basic. We are starting with how to set up Intel RAID. So just booting the system only for the second time. I booted it once to make sure everything was working, but no config has been done. There's no operating system yet. So the first thing we need to do is get into the BIOS. But before that, your motherboard might have multiple SATA controllers. And so you need to make sure that you've connected the drives that you want to set up in RAID to the Intel SATA controller on your motherboard. Consult your manual for this, but it's usually, you know, port one onwards. And then the other SATA controllers will be some of the higher numbered ports further down. Now this system has a Samsung 950 Pro M.2 SSD somewhere in there under the graphics cards. It has a Seagate 2 terabyte SSHD and two Samsung 850 Evo 1TB SSDs. And we are going to be setting up RAID 0 on the two Samsung 850s. Now RAID 0 wasn't such a good option for hard drives with a higher failure rate but SSDs with the reliability and also the performance that they have, RAID 0 is a great option, particularly for a high performance system like this. And it's a request that I get a lot. Okay, so we're going to go into the BIOS and obviously depending on your motherboard, it's going to be very different. But for this motherboard, it's in settings, advanced and integrated peripherals. You just need to find where the SATA controllers are the config for them. Now by default it's probably going to be set up in AHCI. This motherboard only has a single SATA controller which is the Intel one because it's an X99 board and SATA mode we're going to set that to RAID and that's it. That is all you need to do. Hit F10 get out of the BIOS and now when the system reboots it's going to bring up a new menu that wasn't there before for the RAID configuration. And to get into that menu, as soon as it appears, you need to hit Control i We're in. So this is the menu. You can see all of the RAID options here. Create RAID, delete RAID, reset disks, recovery, acceleration. And down here, we, we can see the two Samsung 850s, which we're going to set up in RAID. And we can also see the Seagate SSHD. It's actually a four terabyte SSD. And we can't see the M.2 but that doesn't matter. So, create RAID volume. The first thing you need to do is name it. And I'm just going to call it SSD RAID 0, just so that the client knows what it is, easily defined. Hit enter. Now the type of RAID, and we want RAID 0, Stripe, but you can see all the different types here, at least what this motherboard or controller is capable of. So we've selected RAID 0 Stripe. Next, you need to select the disks. So hit enter on that. And then you need to, when you're over one of the disks, hit space. And a green arrow comes up on the left side to tell you which disks are involved in the, a member of the RAID configuration. Once you've done that, hit enter. Now you set the strip size. And I'm going to use the Intel recommended 16 kilobyte. 
I won't go into the different types of raid and what they do and the different strip sizes, you know, it does make a bit of a difference with what size strip you select. Capacity, you can decrease it if you want to, but not, not a very important option or a good idea. And that's it, create volume. Now, if you create or delete a RAID volume, it deletes all of the data. So keep that in mind, that's a warning there for that. Hit Y for yes, and that's it, we are done. I've started installing Windows. I'm installing Windows 10 from a flash drive. And when you reach this menu, which it doesn't matter which Windows version you are installing, there is a similar menu to this one. Here you can see all of the different drives. Now there is an operating system already installed on the M.2, so you know you can see the system reserved and all of that. But the one we're looking at here is the one at the top, which is the RAID 0 SSD configuration that we just created. Now if that doesn't appear, it means that you need drivers. It depends on your motherboard and the operating system that you are installing. You may need to get drivers for the RAID config from your motherboard manufacturer's website, put them on a flash drive, and then you just need to click on load driver just here, select them, install them, and then the RAID configuration will appear. Now, you only need to do that if you're actually installing Windows onto the RAID config. Otherwise, if you're installing it onto another drive like we have with this system, you can obviously just sort out the drivers once you've installed Windows. So, that's about it. Pretty much all I can think of for this one. So, I hope this was helpful to at least a few of you. There's going to be a lot more of these to come. Thanks for watching, and remember that none of this would be possible without our patrons.